Hey guys, let's descend the knuckle joint. Now go to grid sketch and select the horizontal plane and click on the circle option to create a circle, outer circle of around 100 mm diameter and uh, inner circle to be around 70 mm. Now you could see over there we are not joined, we have not drawn the circles at the origin. So we have to redo it. That means Ctrl plus Z to undo the options what we have done. Now go to uh, circle, one click on one second circle and draw a circle to be around 100 mm diameter and the inner circle to be 70 mm. Now we need to draw a rectangle using three point rectangle command option. Now click on any of our sides. Uh, these uh, the values will be given in the description in your image. You can see over there at the right side the dimensions have been given. Mm, draw draw the rectangle to be around 90 mm. That will be much finer for us because we have to draw much more. And then now click on trim command. We we'll just make sure that we have drawn only 90 mm. 9 mm length of rectangle. Yes, we have drawn 90 mm uh, length of rectangle. Now go to trim and uh, trim the options as I have shown here. Now click on extrude option and extrude to only 35 mm. Now we need to draw a circle. So select the face of the rectangle and uh, click on uh, circle. Before clicking on circle, we have we need to have a reference line. So we have a reference line of 17.5 mm, which is the midpoint of total width of uh, 35 mm so you need to draw the circle at the midpoint the circle you can see you can see there we are choosing the circle and it's going to be we need to give 30 mm only now uh, click enter to select 30 mm now we need to draw once again so we need to try a triangle now you can see we are just trying a bigger triangle to show you a reference line now make the two lines to be equal. You could see that the two lines are going to be equal. Then square of the put, uh, both sides will be the perpendicular line. And choose the collinear options. I mean collinear options to bring the rectangle in position. I mean triangle in position. This triangle is too much bigger. So we have to undo this and we have to draw a, a smaller triangle. It's just letting me decide the plane. Okay. Uh, now we can see we have drawn and uh, choose the equal options to make the triangle equal. Now you could see we are going to make the triangle in collinear with the rectangle face and we are going to mirror that rectangle what we have drawn over here to all the four, three sides having gaps. So I have drawn the horizontal vertical line and uh, horizontal and vertical reference lines. Now we are going to select the lines and uh, mirror it. Now you can see we have done one and we have to go for two select yes now we don't need the reference line so we going to delete the reference lines before clicking on finish sketch now click on finish sketch now you see we are going to extrude that circle to around 30 mm 30 to 50 mm 30 30 is fixed okay 30 mm and click on 25 mm will be finer but 30 mm is also finer you could see I have already given the data for your reference. Now click on the those triangles and uh, we are going to extrude it and give a cut option over the rectangle. So we are on 50 mm. The cut is going to be around 50 mm. Now we have done with the eye end. Now we are going to uh, draw the fork end. That, uh, so that click on new design and uh, click on create sketch and select the horizontal plane and go for circle we are just going to follow the same method as we have followed for the eye end but there is a slight difference now you can see we are going to use the 3 point uh, rectangle option 
to form a rectangle at the base it's going to be around 90 mm only 90 mm is what we needed so we have done now go to trim command and use the trim option to um, cut out the lines which you have not needed click on finish case now extrude the plane to be around uh, 35 plus 30 70 105 mm with that mean 105 mm extruded has to be given now we are going to cut out some area so select the uh, face as given and I draw a reference line to be around 35 mm and from that line draw, we are going to draw a rectangle with a curvy portion on one side now draw the circle 70 mm I am joining the lines and I am going to draw another circle another line I am drawing another line to cut out some area so I am just selecting the line you can take reference from the point so that would be much much easier then select the circle option that would be easier but better go for a fillet option fillet command that will be more, much more helpful for you that will bring an easy method you could see that the circle option we need a reference line in order to go without a reference line we can choose fillet command fillet or card any other commands like that you could see we have done the r command now uh, we don't need the reference line so we are dating the reference lines and uh, go to extrude and we are going to use op uh, choose the operation to be cut and choose a direction to be symmetric so that it cut up some area uh, from the pre-drawn sketches extrude we are going to fillet radius to the edges at the top let's say edges to be around 25 mm to 55 mm so that it forms a curved black -like structure now you can see we have easily done our uh, of work of the four fork end now we are going to draw a circle and a square as the same end of the eye ends as the same which we have done on the eye end so we need to measure the circle how much we have given over uh, the, the eye end it's going to be around 30 mm now we could see we have gone for the eye end option now we are going to select the uh, 30 mm as I said it's 30 mm so you need to draw a circle at the midpoint is easily shown in the reference sketches you could see over there and we are going to select the uh, measure the rectangle portion to know the length of the rectangle draw with the same rectangle height but better we uh, it doesn't need it to draw a rectangle like that so choose the center rectangle option and uh, draw a rectangle now we have to move the, both the rectangle and the circle uh, to the center position if you're going to extrude with that position the solid will be formed at that point so we doesn't need at that point um, so you could see over there we have drawn it and we have dragged it to the position where we need it exactly from this point it could, it could form the solid uh, solid it could join the material it could add material to the four can so this way uh, the design is not going to get collapsed so i'm selecting the square face now selecting the square face to form a uh, to extrude it in the opposite side to be around 90 minus 90 mm and uh, choose the operation to be joint material now you can see we are going to uh, click on the circle option and extrude it and never forget to choose the operation of join choose the operation to be joined and uh, give it to be around 110 mm would be fine yes now we are going to choose the face of the circle and we are going to draw a triangle as in the eye end yes click on the create sketch as on check choose as on play and uh, choose the line command and uh, draw a triangle and we are going to uh, choose this collinear command 
to bring the lines in collinear with the horizontal and vertical option it seems it's already in collinear so we are going to just draw the reference lines to choose the uh, to bring the triangles in a, to be mirrored now we have done one and we are going to choose the both to mirror it to the bottom now you can see i'm choosing the reference line and click on ok yeah it's done now click on finish sketch what we have did, uh, done has to be done but one thing is that uh, we have forgotten to drag it to the position where we have needed exactly so this uh, this makes sense that means it's going to form a solid material at the origin what we have done so it's better to drag both the sketches or the sketches we have drawn to the center position i mean to the position where we have needed exactly because uh, that makes the design that uh, the position of the tri triangles would make collapse the design what we have needed exactly okay now drag it to the portions but drag it too much bigger because we are going to use those sketches to cut on it use the is to do the cut operation only so that doesn't matter so choose the profile and uh, use the operation to be cut and uh, give around 55 mm would be nicer click on ok now you can see we have done uh, don't forget to give pillar radius to the curves that would give you a nice look over there i'm giving 15 mm 15 mm is nice here thanks for watching please do subscribe and share and the assembly part will be um, shown in the next video thank you